What's up? Before we jump into the action on this one, you guys, I just wanted to tell you that pre-orders on the hoodies and the windbreakers are live on my store. So they're there. Go get them. Get them ordered. And the pre-order will end March 21st, and then everything will ship after that date. And then also, anybody who pre-orders from those items or spends $50 on my store during the pre-order period will be entered to win a kit of my favorite pieces from First Light. And uh, stay tuned because I'm going to add a few more prizes as we go. But this video today that I have for you was a ton of fun. So get ready. I think you're going to enjoy it. And uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to thank the people who already pre-ordered. But enough of that. Let's go find it. A little bit of spring cleaning today. Uh, these are, I don't know if I ever showed you guys these at all. This is my New Mexico bowl that I got back. My Utah bowl, I just hung it on the railing. And that's my Arizona bowl that I got back that had the whole side busted off. But the mount, I had a buddy do it. And uh, big shout out to Cade. I had him leave it really rustic looking. And I like how it turned out. But it stunk really bad for a few days, but it doesn't stink anymore. <laughs> it doesn't stink as bad as ever you sprayed in here. So, time to just get stuff moved around and cleaned up. Man, all the bulls and it's not like I have any more room in here for them. Where to even put them? Maybe I could put a deer there. Put one in between that bowl, put a deer there. I got some deer spots, that's good, but maybe a small elk euro over there. I wouldn't be able to get in that door. Uh, figure it out, I guess. Good morning, uh, today is Monday, and I am headed to check an elk spot. I'm not sure if there will be bulls in here or not this year. I haven't scouted it much. And it's pretty much go time. Some of these bulls could even be shed by now. So I'm going to go in there and see if I can get to my point and do some glassing. And just see what the terrain and the sign looks like. Let's go see if we can find some elk or some elk sheds. All right, I made it to the spot where I am going to be attempting to or doing the, the shed hunting slash bull looking. All right, I'm here. But I want to tell you guys about something. One of my partners, Scout to Hunt, have a new feature that they just rolled out in their app, in their mapping app. And uh, it's really cool. I'm gonna overlay some screen grabs of uh, how to use this feature, but it's called the elevation bands feature. And basically it lets you select certain elevations and change them a color in the map so that you can easily identify them. I like to shed hunt deer and elk at specific elevations, stuff that I've just learned over the years. So that's really handy for me to be able to go to a mountain range and be like, boom, I think the elk sheds are gonna be between here and here. Obviously it's just as a tool for narrowing stuff down. It doesn't work 100% of the time. Um, but I just like to be in between certain elevation ranges and that makes it really easy. So if you guys haven't checked out the Scout to Hunt app yet, go download it. It's 100% free. They also just released the Android version. So if you've been waiting to get your hands on that, it's there as well. Go check it out. So got up in here and there is a lot more, a lot more uh, snow than there was last year. The bulls don't even seem to be here. I haven't even seen a fresh elk track in the last mile and a half, two miles to get in here. Um, I found this little zone though. And uh, like rub, rub, rubs all over those trees. Everything around here is rubbed, busted off, rubbed in a trail running up the bottom. This is the kind of stuff that I love to find last year's stuff in. This stuff, this uh, spot get hit, gets hit pretty hard. So pretty rare to pick a white. But whenever I do, it seems like it's in one of these little zones. So I'm going to cruise up this bottom. Then I'm going to loop over towards, uh, I found a real big brown in here last year. And uh, I never could match it up. I assume the other side was picked up, but maybe it'll be somewhere now that I can glass it now that it's white. Um, so I'm going to go cruise over that way and check that and post up and just keep looking for sign. But based off what I've seen so far, I wouldn't be dedicating much time to this place this year. Well, been a bust today. Windier than windy and uh, no no bull sign here at all. Like, I thought, thought there'd be a few pulled down in here, but looks like this place is gonna be a skip for this, for the foreseeable future. Um, I don't know, there is a little more here, snow here than last year, so they could be pushed somewhere because of that, but I got about a mile and a half back out of here. I'm gonna beeline it to the truck and see 
That wind is ripping. See, maybe if there's a, a ridge in between here and there where there's some bulls camped out or, I don't know, I did glass some elk, but it looked like they were all cows and they're a long ways away, so. On to the next, I guess. What's up, you guys? Welcome to another video. This is the Shed Crazy YouTube channel. We usually go shed hunting. Tomorrow we're going lion hunting for mountain lions. Fortunately, I don't have the tag. I have to fall on my sword a little bit and let my buddy Mike shoot a lion. Ben Sandal is adjusting the lighting because we're about to record a podcast slash video. Mike's trying to film me right here too. But we're going to head out in the morning early. We're meeting up with my buddy Tyler Bowler. You guys might remember him from my mule deer hunt, but uh, absolute killer and a, and a great houndsman. And we're going to try to put a big tom up a tree in the morning, but for now, we got stuff, podcast to record, so we will see you guys in the morning. We've been running roads all morning here, um, looking for lion tracks. And just had somebody on the radio call and say that somebody saw a lion cross the road. So we're debating whether we're gonna go over there and check that out or uh, just keep kind of running where we're at and send somebody else to look. So uh, the conditions are pretty good. I think that uh, we got a good chance of getting one turned up here. This is my kind of hunting though. I just ride in the back of the truck and eat sandwiches. <laughs> and that's what I'm about. So, um, and then if they ever catch a lion, I'll just make them keep it in the tree till I get there. Might take me a day or two. How far? Okay, Tempor, I'll be there in 45 minutes. Folks, we're going. A couple line tracks found by one of Tyler's guys. He and Mike, we're gonna get over there. It's fine. Let's go. I'm out of breath already. Tell us what's going on. <sighs> well, we just turned out three of the 30 or so dogs that we got romping around and we're gonna get them started on it and see where they go and then see if we can't cut ahead and freshen it up and let the rest of them go. Kind of hesitating to let out a bunch of dogs this close to the highway because hate for them to come back on the track and end up out in the road. I think 15 minutes might be right, bro. <laughs> We're gonna catch him. <laughs> That's steaming, baby. <laughs> Ooh. That's that's two. Two track. That's two cats? Two tracks. He just stepped on his own. Well, there's no there's two lines. Yeah. Neither one of them are huge. We'll see what we'll figure it out. Hey, what's that sound mean, boys? What's that sound mean? Mike's never seen a mountain now. What you 
Sí. jump we're gonna go look at it in the next tree pretty sure they caught it right away hopefully they didn't run after that other track up here Freed and freed. Mike decided he didn't want to shoot that one. Gonna keep holding out for a big old 30. Calm. Conditions are right, so go do something else. Go eat some lunch. And uh, the weather does what it's supposed to, it'll be money for tomorrow. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, we had a ton of fun making it, and uh, look forward to part two, because part two is pretty stinking incredible. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. But I do need to thank some people who pre-ordered and people who bought apparel. So these are the people who have ordered apparel so far, and these are the people who are entered uh, to win the the First Light gear if uh, you spent over 50 bucks, which most of these people did. First one is Alex Jensen. Thank you, Alex, for a good size order. Ashley Weyer with a, a very, very large order. So thank you, Ashley, I appreciate it. Kate Chatton, homeboy, you're a good man, I appreciate you. David Valco, thank you. Kyle Tise, I think that's how you say it, Kyle. Uh, appreciate it, buddy. Josh Thatcher, uh, Nate Schwartz, thank you, man. Dennis Palmer, Coos Life. Uh, Nicholas Merchant, thank you. Kyle Pope. Um, I, he didn't have an order. What he did was order a hat a long time ago and I finally shipped him a different one. So anyway, thanks Kyle for your patience. Uh, Sierra Navistar, or Nastavar, I think that's how you say it. Thank you, Sierra. Uh, Jess Dudson, uh, Joe Sima, thank you. 
Kent Bender, Rob Chil Chilinski, my buddy Rob, um, Dylan Underwood, Jesse Greer, man, a lot of really good size orders. Uh, Elijah Gopher and Arlen Armajo. As of right now, those who I have. So thank you and I hope you win. I hope every one of you wins. And we're gonna add some more prizes to this giveaway. But thanks for watching this video. Thank you for supporting and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one.